Welcome. It's good to see you again. Have you been watching the other lessons? This is lesson number six. We've already had five lessons and I'm going to need to go kind of quickly because I have lots of things to share with you for this lesson. The first thing I'm going to ask you to do is to take out your Bible. If you don't have your Bible, please run and get one so that you've got your Bible. And I'm going to start with having you turn to the table of contents. You've gotten good at finding the table of contents. We've done this a lot, haven't we? In the table of contents, I'm going to remind you, we have an Old Testament, and we've been learning a lot from the Old Testament. We've already had five lessons that came from here. And then we have stories from the New Testament. And as we talked about before, the New Testament is where we start hearing about Jesus. Now Jesus is in the Old Testament. He's not, he's not missing, but the stories where you listen and hear about Christmas, the story of Christmas, which you all know, and the story of Jesus as he grows up, and his stories he tells and all that are in this first part of the New Testament. In the books of, can you read them with me? Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Those first four books talk to us about Jesus being born, Jesus as he grows up, and as he talks with his disciples and he tells stories, and then when Jesus dies, when he's on the cross. So those first four books are talking about that. And then we have a book called Acts. The book of Acts talks about, well, so what happened after Jesus was on the cross? Then all that they talk about in the book of Acts. There's lots of stuff in there. It's a really interesting book. And then after that, all the rest of these, except for the last one, are letters. Letters like, Once, dear, dear mom, I wanted to write to you about, or dear dad, I wanted, those are letters. Have you ever written a letter before? If you have, that's what these are about. But all these letters are written by, well, most of the letters are written by a man named Paul. There are some by a few other people, but they're writing to remind their friends. They're writing to remind people, um, I really like what you did. Maybe they're to tell them, I like that. Maybe they're to remind them, uh, I don't think you're doing good things. I think you need to remember. But they're reminding their friends and um, people about following God about following Jesus and doing the things they need to do. All these are letters. Wow! And the very last one is what's called Revelation. And do you remember how we had in the beginning was Genesis? Genesis meant in the beginning, right? Well, Revelation is about the end. So there we've got the beginning and the end. We've got the Old Testament, we've got the New Testament, and we're going to go to the New Testament. So quick turn with me. We're going to go to the book of Matthew. Matthew. So look for the page number, and would you turn with me to the book of Matthew. And remember, you know when you've gotten there, because you're going to see the big word up at the top that says, Matthew, I'm there, I'm there. And I got lucky. I want you to turn to the big number 13. We're looking for chapter 13. So turn to Matthew. If you need a helper, ask your helper to help you. Turn to Matthew and look for the big number 13. And our story for today is written in this chapter. My Bible, when Jesus talks, it's written in red. Some Bibles are like that, but that's where our story is. So, I'm not going to read it from the Bible because I have this special, it's a Bible storybook, and I love the pictures. So we're going to look in my storybook, but it's the same story. It just has all the pictures with it. And if you are a reader, would you read it with me? If you are not a reader, you can listen. But this is the parable of the 
sower. And if you've ever planted seeds, you are a sower. To sow is to plant seeds. So this is Jesus' parable. A parable is a story of Jesus. It has a message in it. That's why it's a parable. A parable about somebody who plants seeds, about a sower. All right. Jesus told this story about a farmer who planted seeds. There's your sower. Some of his seeds landed on hard dirt. Ooh, you think that's a good idea? Hmm. He planted seeds and they landed on hard dirt. Jesus said, well, birds ate up those seeds. Hmm. I don't know if you've ever seen before, but birds like to eat seeds. And so when the dirt was really hard, they could get to the seeds and they ate them all up. So there weren't any plants, were they? Hmm. Jesus said, birds ate up those seeds. This is like, remember there's a meaning here, when the birds ate the seeds, this is like people who hear God's word, but then they forget about it. Nah, it's gone. Just like the seeds were there, and then they were gone. Then it says, other seeds, other seeds landed there where there was only a little bit of dirt. There are lots of rocks. You see all those rocks in there? A little bit of dirt, but lots of rocks. The seeds grew. They grew into baby plants, but the sun came out and they dried them up. It was too hot. This, this is our meaning. So when we plant the seeds and they go in with the rocks and they go in with the dirt, but the sun dries them up. This is like people who hear God's word, but forget it when troubles come. Ah, I got too many other things I'm thinking about. I, uh... So they forget God's word. So again, we don't want to plant it on dry, hot, excuse me. We don't want to dry, plant it on soil that's not good. So birds eat the seeds. We don't want to plant it on soil that's hot and dry and rocky. Hmm. Look at this one. Oh, that does not look good. Other seeds landed in dirt where weeds were growing. The weeds choked, choked these plants. This is like, here's our message. So when we plant it, where there are too many weeds and they choke out the good seeds, this is like people who start, they start to obey God's word, but then what happens? They start to worry about all the things that they want. Hmm, they forget about God's care and help. So now I'm thinking, oh, I want to go to the mall and I want to do this. Oh, but I also want to go see my, oh, and I also want to. And so even though I went to Sunday school and I listened to my lesson, it's gone. Hmm, it's not there anymore. It got choked out by too many other things going on. So I didn't remember it. But what's the last one? Some seeds, some seeds landed on good dirt. They grew into big plants. The big plants grew a hundred times more than was planted. They just came up and came up and came up. Wow! This is like people who hear and they obey and I'm going to add the words, and they share God's word. So when you hear a lesson, like maybe today's lesson, and you go out and you share with people, you are like the people who are in good soil. So you're listening and you're following God's word. It says, when we hear God's word, we can do what it says. And that's what's best of all. All right, so that's our story. And our craft today is gonna to be a lot of drawing. And so if you like drawing, you're gonna love this. If you don't, ah, oh, sorry. Our next one will, will be using scissors and stuff, but you will just need a piece of paper. You will need some colors. 
You can use markers, crayons, uh, colored pencils, whoops, or one that fell on the floor. But that's all you're going to need, okay? But we're going to start by folding our paper. So would you fold the paper in half like a hamburger? And then we're going to fold it in half again. So we're going to turn the hamburger into a hot dog. And we've got this going on. Fabulous. All right. So when I unfold it, it looks like this. Now, if you want to make these fold super tight, you can really fold them tight if you want to. But basically, we need four parts because we're going to tell Jesus' story. And there were really four parts to this story. And I'm going to show you what my final one looks like just in case we run out of time. So this is my story. And we're going to draw the first one. It's going to be this part. Do you remember how when the farmer planted his seeds, the birds came and ate them up? And the seeds were just too dry. They didn't grow. So, in this first part, I want you to draw a picture. And I'm going to just start to... You guys are good drawers. I've seen you draw before. So, draw a good picture. Miss Jane, you've never seen me draw. If I've never seen you draw... I still have confidence in you. I know you can do it. So, I've got my dirt. Mine is orange dirt. I, I can't, I couldn't find my light brown, so I used orange. And then I'm going to put a bunch of seeds in here. So there's my seeds. And then I'm going to draw some birds eating those seeds. And I'll show you how I draw a bird. This is not the world's most perfect way. It's just a suggestion if you want to do it this way. I draw kind of a hot dog shape, and that's my bird's body. See the hot dog? Then I'm going to draw a kind of a big old circle. That's going to be my bird's head. Ah, and then I'm going to put on two what I hope look like wings. So I'm going to put on two wings. So there's one wing, and there's two wings. See my wings? And then I can put on the bird's beak and legs and whatever else I want to add to that. So I'm going to put on the beak. Ugh. Here's the beak. And I'm going to put on the legs. And there we go. There's my bird. You're probably very good at drawing birds. However you draw them, it's wonderful. But that's the part where I said it is too dry. Too dry. And then we're going to draw another part. This time it's going to be not too dry, but it was too hot and it was rocky. That was not good. That's where we listen and then we get, we forget. When bad times come along, we forget. So I'm going to draw a big old sun because I want it to be too hot. So there's my sun. And put in your dirt and everything you want to go with it. And that's gonna be your second part. I hope you do a better job than that. And we're gonna put in the words, too hot. So when the sun comes out and all of them dry up. Mm. Then the next part you're gonna draw is gonna be the part where it is too weedy. There are too many weeds. I'm trying to make you see just that part. There we go. So you can draw your dirt, and it's too weedy, and look at all my weeds in there. And then the last part is the part where, I know, I know, you guys are good listeners, and that's where we listen. We hear God's Word, and we follow it. So when we learn about being kind to other people, loving other people, we do it. We say please and thank you, and we open doors, and we help people. Or maybe, what else could we do to follow God's Word? We pray. Praying is something that God asks us to do, to pray to Him, because then you're talking to God. We did something today when we read the Bible. Reading the Bible 
is following. So we do lots of things to follow God. And why do we do that? Well, we do that because we have faith in God. We want to. But it also makes the world such a nice place, doesn't it? When people are kind to each other. So I will see you next week. I hope that that lesson made sense. And you guys take care. Bye-bye.